There seems to be two philosophies or approaches to automotive maintenance. One is, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The other is, we should do some preventative maintenance to prevent it from breaking. Now, different people have different approaches to their own maintenance, but as a bush pilot flying over the jungles of New Guinea, I learned very early on the importance of preventative maintenance. I mean, I religiously took care of that airplane. I even did inspections on it every 25 hours of flight time. And it's probably because I did that, that's why I'm still alive today. Now, granted, a car is not quite the same as an airplane. You know, if your engine blows up or your something fails, you can pull off the side of the road and get it towed to a shop. But, you know, there is an advantage to looking at automotive repair from a preventative standpoint. And I think this is very important when it comes to turbochargers. You're looking at a Garrett T3 turbocharger that we just removed from a 300 SD. This is very typical of the turbos on all those older Mercedes diesels from 1978 up to the mid 1990s. And a lot of people think, hey, I, you know, my turbo's working fine. I don't need to do anything with it. Uh, I highly recommend what I call a 100,000 mile turbo major service. And you won't find this in any factory manual. In fact, I haven't seen any information in the Mercedes literature on when a turbocharger should be taken apart and looked at. But from the problems I have been seeing, particularly on these engines with higher mileage, you can literally ruin a turbo if you don't take it apart and clean it and put a service kit in it. And I'm gonna show you why in this particular turbo right here, what the problem was. You know, it, it isn't because um, it just wears out. There's something else going on that's building up inside that turbocharger that will cause it to wear out and it will be a very expensive repair if it's not caught early on. I removed the turbocharger unit from the exhaust turbine housing and I'm ready to disassemble it, I'm removing this um, turbine wheel shaft nut. I can pull the compressor wheel off here, and then I can take and slide this turbine wheel and shaft out, pull it straight through the housing. Oh man, look at that. Can you see that carbon buildup? And it is really severe. What's happened here, is the, the oil exiting, you know, leaking by the ceiling ring here with that high intense heat from the exhaust is just causing it to turn to coke here. And this stuff gets hard. And what has happened is, two things have happened here. One, it has worn out, look at that cutting into the metal here on the turbine wheel shaft. The ceiling ring is broken. Uh, I'm sure that's caused from carbon contamination in the ring. And then I'm looking at the housing here and it looks like there's quite a bit of wear in here. So I'm going to go ahead and check this with uh, a new ceiling ring, check the end gap. And I bet you this is worn out. So what's happened here is you no longer have a rebuildable turbo. The housing shot, the turbine shaft is shot. Now you do have you know, a rear plate here, but this could have been prevented right here. This could have been prevented if this tur turbocharger had been opened up, cleaned, and a overhaul kit installed. If that would have been done 50 to 100,000 miles ago. This, this turbocharger has 260,000 miles on it, and I suspect that it's probably never been off the car. So, we're stuck. Going to have to go buy a brand new or completely rebuilt turbocharger. If this should happen to you, I feel your pain. You know, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, there are still good used turbochargers available out there from, you know, quality recyclers. You always stand the chance though, like if you buy a turbocharger used on eBay, that you may take it apart and you may find the same problem. And parts are getting more and more difficult to find. Recently, our supplier is no longer making the compressor wheels. And we're going, what? And, and so 
I highly recommend that you take a look at your turbo if you have not done that and you own one of these old 617 diesels uh, because the problems are only going to get worse. We do offer what I believe is the most complete kit available to rebuild the turbocharger yourself. It includes all the parts you need internally. These are new ceiling rings, new bushings, clips, um, even a new high performance thrust washer that will give your turbo better performance. As an option, I have developed a set of special tools. Now we actually kind of modify these wrenches here in our shop because there are some things that are very hard to get to. With our special tools, uh, you can actually remove the turbocharger from this unit here without having to take it off the engine. So that's an advantage time-wise. So if, if, this is an option though. We sell the basic overhaul kit complete with step-by-step -step illustrated instructions. There aren't any instructions available like this anywhere on the market that are that detailed. And then we also offer a brand new turbine wheel and shaft. We can still get these and this is the number one part that wears out and that's like you saw earlier in the video. Uh, carbon is a big culprit on these to wear these things out prematurely. But if you need, um, if you need a new housing, you know, we can't, we can't provide that. There are some companies I think that still offer uh, rebuilt turbochargers so you can look at that as another option. We don't do that here in-house. So if you're interested in doing some preventative maintenance on your own turbocharger, just go to my website and put turbocharger service or turbocharger overhaul in the search box and it will take you right to the kits that we offer.